Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke 24, verses 36 to 43 today. Let's read our passage. Now, as they said these things, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were terrified and frightened and supposed they had seen a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. But while they still did not believe for joy and marveled, he said to them, Have you any food here? So they gave him a piece of broiled fish and some honeycomb, and he took it and ate it in their presence. <laughs> so Jesus is trying to convince them that it's really him, right? And so he finally says, well, look, give me some food and I'll eat it. And as they watch uh, closely, he actually eats it like a regular person. <laughs> and so they say, yeah. Yeah, it is him. It's not, it's not some, some other thing going on here. So Jesus wants to reveal himself to them. Why are you troubled, he asks. Why do doubts arise in your hearts? And he says, handle me, touch me. I mean, and then he eats for them. Jesus is showing them that he has a human body as human as theirs is. It is a real live human body. It could get mosquito bites. It, it can be sad. It can have uh, get a rash or stickers in it. Um, I've been working in my raspberry patch, so stickers. So, you know, the Lord is, is alive. He's in our world. He's connected with us. He's entered this reality. He's not just kind of some kind of a spirit being kind of floating through the world and just, just sort of uh, easing through everything. Jesus took a humanity like yours and mine, and in that humanity, he defeated sin. Uh, so he is our Lord. He is our Savior, and he is our not only our sacrifice in our behalf the father gives in our behalf but he is also our example showing us how to live and so friends you and i are blessed we have the opportunity to serve a risen savior and he has shown us day by day how to do that let us realize the reality of the incarnation of that god came and took human flesh human flesh like yours and mine and triumphed in it and we can through the power of god as well all right, friends, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you are on your throne. You're watching over us. You have good desires toward us. You want good things for us, and you died on the cross for us. I don't know what more we could possibly ask or even imagine. But Lord, you're on the side of your people. Thank you that you did not finish. You did not flinch. You went all the way through Jesus and won out the victory for us. Now, Lord, help us to follow Jesus in the very footsteps of Jesus and be faithful, faithful to the King. We, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Let's be faithful to the King today, and we will not regret it.